honestly I feel like a totally different person with straight hair like i can't even recognize myself right now hey guys it's neha and today i'm going to be giving you guys a straightening tutorial so i'm going to give you guys a tick ticks i'm going to give you guys the trips and ticks i'm going to give you guys the tips and tricks that i've learned over the past five some years that i've been straightening my hair i actually think that the smallest little tricks in your straightening can make a huge difference i don't want my hair just to look straight i want it to look like 18 years ago my mom gave birth to a straight hair child i'm very sorry about this totally new updated never seen before background i literally have nowhere else to film but my room so you guys are just gonna enjoy the same setting as the last video i'm also gonna switch from like a voiceover to like me talking so many different times during this video i don't know why i did that but it's just how it is without further ado no more talking let's get into the video Okay, so I just washed my hair in the shower like normal with shampoo and conditioner but this time I shampooed twice just to make sure that any hair product is not left over in my hair. If there is any hair product in your hair when you're straightening it, it'll just cause your hair to look greasy. So you really want to make sure that you're double shampooing or using a clarifying shampoo. And I applied conditioner like normal but instead of putting it into the middle to the ends, I put it all throughout my hair because my hair needs as much as hydration as it possibly can get. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a microfiber towel and just help dry my hair until it's damp. So my hair is towel dried and pretty damp. And at this time, you want to make sure that there is absolutely no product in your hair whatsoever. There's only one product that goes into my hair when I straighten it. And believe it or not, it's not heat protectant. I do not use a heat protectant. When I straighten my hair, I haven't been using it for two years. And it's the best decision I've ever made. I use this instead of heat protectant. This is just an argan oil. After I straighten my hair, my curls almost look healthy. So I highly recommend switching to argan oil. If you don't know, argan oil is a natural heat protectant. And it also protects your hair from frizz and the environment. So it's literally like a win-win. And you know that there's no chemicals in it like heat protectant has. But the one thing is you have to have the right amount. This step makes or breaks your straightening process. There's been times where I put too much and I have to go and wash my hair all over again just so I can straighten it. So you really want to be careful. It's always better to start with little. So I'm just going in with my Dyson diffuser and a paddle brush and just blow drying my hair straight. There's not really specific technique. I'm just going for it. And here's me low-key feeling myself with this hairdo for some reason. My straightener is from the brand Ava and I'm also using this straightening brush thingy which makes all the difference in the world so definitely get one. And then I'm just sectioning off my hair. To begin, I clamp the brush first then follow with the straightener and then slowly go down. I usually do two passes per section and remember it's always better to do very slow passes instead of long ones and here's a little length check one thing that I used to never do is care about the inside of my hair while straightening, but making sure the insides is as straight as the outsides of your hair is vital to obtain that sleek look. Also, make sure to get every little strand. Yes, that means the edges too. And as I work my way to the top, I grab smaller strands just to ensure that every single piece of hair is getting straightened. Also, I forgot to mention, but my straightener is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm emphasizing mainly on the roots, passing the straightener through a few times to make sure my hair sits flat, which also makes the biggest difference. If it's visible or not to others, make sure you're getting every single little piece. And 
then again working in very small sections at the top. I just finished straightening half my hair and look how sleek. I hate when I straighten my hair and I like it because it makes me want to do it more. I'm going to go ahead and do the other half and then let's add the finishing touches together. If you like the pin straight look, you can stop here, but for the final touches, I like to run the straightener on my front pieces, but do a little flip at the bottom to add front framing pieces. It takes literally two seconds, and I think it adds so much to the final look. And then I go ahead with a hairspray and a hard bristle brush. And yes, I was struggling. But I just run it through my roots to tame any flyaways. And look how shiny I'm in love. Okay, so it's actually the day after I ended up getting a huge migraine, so I had to take a break. But I went ahead and I did that thing where I flipped the straightener in the fronts to all my strands. And this is the end result. <laughs> And I thought I would mention that I leave my hair straight for five to seven days, no less or no more. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and let me know if you did try it out. It's honestly what has worked best for me, so I hope that it's the same results for you guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!